Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, I am going to show you how we can read multiple part files, multiple CSV part files as one file uh, and to make sure that schema is also present. So when I'm reading multiple part files, schema is not present in all of the part files. Schema is present only in one part file. So how we can read such a file. So let's go ahead to the portal and see how we can do that. So here right now I am in the Databricks and uh, let's uh, right now I am actually using uh, Databricks default data set. When I say default Databricks, uh, default data set, it is basically an open source data set which is provided by Databricks. In case you don't know, this is the uh, you know location in DBFS it is stored. You can go ahead and use any data set out of it. So right now I am reading the airlines data set and now you can see over here that I have quite a lot of part files. So these part files are related to, you know, the data related to airlines. So right now, if I go down, you can see how many part files are present. Literally, it's a lot of data, a lot of part files. So now uh, the part file starts from, you know, zero zeros, five times zero, basically. So let's go ahead and see what's there inside that part file. So if I do that, so if I'm trying to display, uh, you know, the top uh, row, basically for the part file so if i'm doing uh, you know i'm if i'm checking the head of uh, the first part file eventually it is the second one uh, four times zero one if i'm trying to see the data inside it you can see there is no header present in this data right so in the similar way if i try to see uh, the four times zero the five times zero part file which is the very first part file if i run it you will be actually able to see uh, let me just close this with the double quotes uh, now you will be able to see that it has uh, uh, let i think there is one more yeah so now you can actually see that it will have uh, you know uh, year month day of the month day of the week departure time so all these column details are also present so now what what you do now if you want to read it as a single data set uh, you might probably you know simply start doing spark.read.csv and you can mention the path of the airlines and you might also write header equal to true in for schema also true but you will see that when you try to uh, you know show this data frame this is how it looks like so it will not have the schema right it will not have your column names which actually it should the reason here is that internally it is not reading uh, like due to parallelism of uh, spark it is not reading your part 000 five times zero file uh, in the beginning which actually has the columns right so in this case how we are going to solve this problem now to do that if i go down to command 16 so see the very first thing that I'm trying to do over here is I am trying to get this data frame. So I'm only trying to create one data frame out of my part file, which is part four, five times zero, right? So this is the file which actually has my column names. And I have shown you also that this is the file which has a column name, right? It has header equal to two, right? Info schema equal to two. Now, when I'm, uh, you know, creating a data frame out of it, I actually have, uh, you know, the first row as a header in this data frame. Now, using this data frame, I'm trying to create another data frame, which is reading all the files which are present inside this data set, inside airlines data set. The only difference is it is using the schema. It is using the schema of the previous data frame, which I have created. So schema equal to schema underscore data frame dot schema, right? So this schema equal to schema underscore data frame dot schema. Through this, I am actually getting the schema from my pre previous data frame. So now my previous data frame is the data frame which is related to the first part file, which has columns. So now I'm using the schema of that data frame. And then I am trying to read all the files present inside my data set right inside my airline data set and now you can see that when you are trying to display airline data frame you can actually see all the columns in sequence over here you have all the columns right because it has inferred the schema from the very first file and then spark has utilized its uh, you know uh, parallelism to you know just load the data into this schema 
which you have taken from the first data frame or from the first part file. So this is how you know you solve this problem. Do let me know if you have any doubt in this and thank you so much for being till here.